back this is adventures with dr joe today is the first of a number of modifications we're going to do to make the harbor freight 40 pound blast cabinet the best it can possibly be we've analyzed and looked at all the modifications that are available incorporated those into the blast cabinet so it's going to be truly one that really works great the first thing we're going to do is put in this metering valve now the big problem one of the major problems with that blast cabinet is that the siphon tube doesn't work very well. It gets clogged up, you can't adjust the flow, it's very frustrating. But if a metering valve is put in at the bottom of the dump gate where the media can be dumped if you want to exchange it and put this in line, you can really create a blast cabinet that has outstanding flow and the blast material, the sandblasting basically, will be as efficient as possible. What sets this apart is its very large diameter. This is more than an inch. And yes, it's a bunch of pipe fittings, but it works really, really well. Parts Washer Upgrade Kit is the company that I purchased this metering valve from, and there'll be a listing in the description. They have looked at many uh, different setups, and this, although it seems basic because it's just a number of pieces of pipe, is really very advanced and incredibly efficient. Plus, it has this control at the bottom where you can open it or close it, open, close, to change the, the uh, media so you don't have to unscrew anything. It's really simple. Open it up, empty it out, put new in. This metering valve is very precise. You'll be able to have it fully open like it is now, fully closed like this, fully open, fully closed, and be able to adjust this with various pressure. So let's take a look at this. Let's walk through the various steps of drilling the hole, fitting it, putting it all properly together, and then installing it. And this will be the first of a number of, of, of segments to maximize the potential of the Harbor Freight 40 pound blast cabinet. This is a modification of the bottom of the sandblast cabinet. This is known as a metering valve because we're going to be suctioning media from the bottom of this, from the bottom of the sandblaster container. We're not going to use the siphon tube and we have the ability to control it, to improve the flow and really make the entire uh, sandblast cabinet much better. This set of modifications I purchased as one unit from parts washer upgrades upgradekit.com and I'll have a link to that and what it includes is a number of basically one inch diameter pipe fittings some threaded pipe adapters a coupler and then this piece that's going to go through the bottom of uh, the dump gate of the sandblast cabinet. First thing we want to do is determine the diameter of the hole we need to drill in this and that that'll be determined by this part so we'll measure that and that is 1.26 inches or 1 in 17 64ths so we know the diameter of that. So we'll get a, a hole saw for that. But then what we'll do is we'll mark the very center of this blast door by putting two lines from the corners to determine the true center. And then we'll drill a hole in, in here and then I'll show you how everything comes together. Once the hole is drilled, this part will go through the hole and there'll be a flange that helps support that. And then it will go into this coupler. So this will be coming out of here like this. 
then this coupler goes onto a threaded portion. To a T like this and then this piece of one inch pipe with a hole in it will be for the metering valve which is this and it will thread into this here and then we'll put this reducer on the end, put this pipe fitting or this tubing fitting, which is where the, this is where the blast media will be going up. Then this final adapter and this ball valve, because that will allow us to empty our blast media very efficiently and very easily. So this is going to go through the dump gate into this T. This is going to be closed 99% of the time except when you want to change your media. Then to change the media we just open this up, it all drains out and we're good to go. Then this is the metering valve. We will allow a certain amount of air to go into this to mix with the blasting material so it has the best flow rate and that'll be determined by using by, by experimenting with various pressures and various settings of this valve to determine the ideal combination of pressure plus the setting here for our blast cabinet. Before we finally assemble this all these fittings will be covered with Teflon tape to make sure that there's no um, leak and um, then we're going to drill the hole with a hole drill in this area to, to get this taken care of. Okay, I've got the parts laid out here in the way we're going to assemble those and we'll bring those to the vise using a pipe wrench and other things for these pipe fittings. I'd Then we'll clamp this in the pipe jaws and we'll get our fittings on. This is on one side. This is on the other. We'll have this nice and secure so we'll be able to really tighten these. <clears throat> That's nice and tight. Now we'll tighten the other side. tighten this just a little more so that our metering hole lines up. So we're going to try to tighten it up a little bit more. <sighs> Got it. So now the hole for the meter now the hole for the metering valve is in line with the other the other tube which is going to be nice. This metering valve tightens with a 13 16 with a little Get this nice and snug. And then this pipe fitting with a 22 millimeter wrench. Don't want to tighten this too much, it's brass. Very. So the next thing we'll do is we'll put this adapter in. That'll need to be tightened with the pipe wrench. Now we'll turn. Yeah. 
There we go. Coming out of the bottom will be this ball valve, and we want to set it up so that it's drain. It's pull when you're pulling it down, it's draining and closed. So open would be in this direction. We'll use a large adjustable wrench to tighten this down. There we go. One final fitting for us is this coupler. which will tighten with a pipe wrench. All right. Okay. So we have the mitering valve set up here very large diameter excellent high flow that's why this works so well and a super easy way to, to change media and then we'll drill the hole in the base of that dump door which allows the media to flow in here be swirled around and tur made turbulent with the addition of air particulates moving out of here so it has a very fast and excellent flow rate okay when this is finished this door will basically close. But the problem is, as you can see, that this has been imprecisely cut and the, the steel right here is not in contact with the uh, rubber, so there's gonna be a leak. So I tried to bend this, but it doesn't work. So we need to remove this, this foam rubber and put, a, put some new there. And I happen to have some here that we're gonna use right now. So I'm gonna use these scrapers to elevate this, this rubber and see if we can get it, remove it and replace it with something that's gonna give us a good seal. Otherwise, we're gonna have a terrible media or sand leak at the bottom of the hopper. So I kind of got it going here. I mean, it's not impossible. I might be able to replace this in a better position. That would be kind of cool. No, it, it has to fill the whole, the whole thing and it's just too small. Okay, I've got some rubber here that it has an adhesive side to it, kind of. And we'll, um, I used to use this, this is a uh, vibration insulating material. So we'll take our lid and literally I'm just gonna mark it like that. And I'm gonna cut it out and we're gonna fix it. To that hinge door And I think that's going to take care of that problem. This is good. Now that I squeeze it on, we've got good contact all the way around. And we've got a good seal. So that was a good, that was a good move. So that took care of that one issue. So we need to drill a hole to allow this to fit through here. And we've got a really nice set of Milwaukee hole saws. And they're known as the hole dozer. And this one seems to fit pretty well. It's gonna fit nicely around that. And these bits thread on to a certain point and then they 
engage, those pins engage with the bit itself so there's no movement. So I have this clamp down on a piece of wood, piece of cedar actually, that fits that nicely to avoid tear out. I've lined this up very carefully. And then we have this really nice lever clamp. It's gonna hold it down and we'll start drilling. Okay, because this metal is thin, we're gonna use a little, we're getting some vibration, we'll use some tap magic. This stuff is great. We'll, tr we'll continue on here. We had a little slippage of our quill Right, there's the hole. It's a beautiful hole. And we got slightly into the wood, just a little bit. So that's going to be a perfect fit. Okay, we've got it now. Here's the new rubber, which seals very nicely in this kind of an unusual clamp, but it's tight and it, it seals well. And now this is tightened up. These are all ready to go. And so our metering valve is completed. One of the reasons this works so well is the diameter is very large, one inch. So there's a lot of admixing that's going to occur in here and you're going to get a very nice mixture of air and sand as it's being suctioned up into the, into the um, gun in the blast cabinet. Thank you for watching again, Adventures with Dr. Joe. Please subscribe, click like, comment. Again, this is the metering valve to give an up, update or an upgrade to the Harbor Freight 40 pound blast cabinet. The first of a number of, of uh, videos to truly maximize the uh, potential for that blast cabinet. Stay safe, thank you.